Well, both conventions are over. Uh, if you're into blood sport, you'll probably quite like American politics at the moment. It is now officially upwards and onwards for about the last 100 days to the US election between Hillary Clinton and, of course, Donald J. Trump. Um, really interesting times, Dominic George, uh, at the moment, because Donald Trump has been a terrible, horrible ridiculous human being mm. he said that mexicans are rapists and criminals he said that all muslims should be banned he said that fox news hosts have bleeding things he's got worse he said that john mccain wasn't a hero because he got captured yeah and the story around that is horrific he actually chose to stay in the prisoner of war camp so he's unbelievable a, a, and it's got worse and worse and worse he even said i could probably shoot someone in manhattan and wouldn't get arrested mm. he's finally got to a point where i believe he's going to now lose this election yeah and whether it's irony or karma or whatever you want to call it, the reason he's going to lose this election is because of a Muslim immigrant to American. His name is Kaiser Khan, and we want you to have a real quick look at a good chunk of what he said at the recent DNC. Trump, you're asking Americans to trust you with their future. Let me ask you, have you even read the United States Constitution? I will, I will gladly lend you my copy. In this document, look for the words Look for the words liberty and equal protection of law. Have you ever been to Arlington Cemetery? Go look at the graves of brave patriots who died defending United States of America. You will see all faiths, genders, and ethnicities you have sacrificed nothing and no one. What else can you say? You've sacrificed Man. nothing. You've sacrificed no one. I truly believe that instance mm. is the losing of the election. Yeah, look, uh, and and there's been some fallout, as you know, from, from this already. So just today, uh, the feud with the Republican Party and Donald Trump is just widening because uh, as a result of this, he is refusing to endorse Paul Ryan and John McCain, who both face challenges ahead of the November 8 election, as well as refusing to endorse uh, those particular uh, candidates uh, in the Republican Party. How evangelical is uh, are these sorts of events, are these conventions? Unbelievable. It just look, That could have been a preacher up there doing that sort of thing, eh? Yeah. Was, but you're right, it is the, uh, it's poetic justice, uh, I think a lot of people uh, would call the uh, events as they've played out since um, Trump shot himself in the foot again. Well, see, what's happened is the rhetoric around politics in America has got to a point where they all go, well, we'll forgive this of Trump because he's our guy, well, we'll forgive this of Trump because he's our guy, mm. well, we'll forgive this because of Trump because he, he's our guy. But then again, now what he's doing is he's, he's attacking a, a patriot. Mm. He's attacking a soldier who fought and died for the country. Yeah. A soldier who pulled his troops back because he was a leader. He pulled all his troops back and he was the one to go and check the situation which ended up getting him killed. So now you've got Republican leaders finally going, he's our guy, but I think he's finally crossed yep. the line. He's, it's a, it's a, he's gone a bridge too far. Interesting as well. Uh, when you look at the uh, the polls uh, that are coming out in the last uh, sort of a day or so, and uh, earlier uh, today, the latest CNN poll, uh, Hillary Clinton by seven points. I mm -hmm. think you've had a look at um, the polls out today. There's been what twelve of them. Well, if, if anyone wants to keep an eye on it, check out Real, RealClearPolitics.com. We've got a graphic to show you as to uh, the last eight polls that were out as of uh, this morning. And actually, actually looking at the website right now, there are a few of them. So if you have a look at this graphic, uh, it shows that of the last eight polls, and there's just eight in a row, this isn't uh, cherry picking it, uh, Clinton has had a big lead in seven of them, and one of them there's a tie. Mm. Uh, and also, as I say, looking at real clear politics right now, there's another four general election polls up. Clinton is leading in all of those as well. So of the last 12 polls, she's leading in 11, and it's a tie in one of them. And I just think, I think this is the moment where 
everyone has expected Donald Trump to fall over at mm -hmm. some stage. I actually think this is the moment. This I is think the one. it's over. Yep. And now he's clutching at straws. He said that this uh, CNN poll that I mentioned uh, earlier, he's calling uh, this one phony. Uh, there's no reason for that. I mean, if that's the best he's got, um, you know, maybe release a couple of more photos of your wife in the nude. <laughs> I don't know, man. That's Maybe that's your strategy from now on.